Welcome, my name is DMC, and today I just want to quickly take a minute to show off my hair. This is my hair, this is my locks, this is the current color that I have on. I know, well, yeah, I know it's a bit bold, but yeah, I just wanted to try on something. It's, it's just hair, you know, and then, you know, the only way I get to drive joy from rocking dreadlock is by putting in color. So I just wanted something, you know. But I am not a Malian. I know some people follow me on Instagram are like, okay, my name is. The I am not a Malian. I've denounced me. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. So I'm not a Malian anymore. I am a child of God now. Uh, I don't know which one is rocking. He says that I'm Malian forever. But I, when you see, I am a child of God. But I just love to have color on my hair. This is my Christmas hair. For those of you who don't know, who are not following me on Instagram, and uh, well, my Instagram handle is Mr. Connor. My um youtube channel is gonna so for those of you who are not following me down on the blog or on youtube please follow me there i'm very happy thank you so today i'm going to be doing a review of um nuban beauty so this nuban beauty i know you must have watched the video behind the camera in this pack uh this is it in my skin i love the bag so this was right in like that so this way so this is the Nuvan Beauty PR package that I got and I must say I am impressed. Yeah. From the color scheme, everything, the attention to details, I am blown. I am impressed. I wouldn't even lie, you know, I can't even I, I like it. I like the way they've taken their time to, you know, do um a proper research and then you know came out with this. Um so they have 16. This is what it looks like. It opens up like this the package that i got from them i love i totally love um so you have the smaller sizes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then you have four actual sizes which is 13 14 15 16 so they are 16 shades in all but i know they missed out you know but i think it was number 13 or number 14 i'm not sure but i will check and then i'll get back to you so i mean this comes in light medium so i have no makeup on no makeup at all so i use my brows i'm trying to grow them out i want to work fuller brows in 2020 i know that's going to be like one of the trends so i'm trying to grow out my brows so you have i just have a brow tamer on and i just brushed it out to show off how full it is so we're getting there so um i'm just going to quickly match myself i think um so for the tester size I think this, I think between, this looks really dark, so this, or, I think this should be my shade, uh, this should be my shade, oh I can match it with this, let's see, so I'm, I, I'm taking from the tester, so I think this too, um, so I'm just going to show you what they look like on the skin, and on my face, direct, okay. So I'm using my Carolan Perfect Matte Base. I'm not going to use any anti shine or anything. Just want to take off the shine. That's it. Just a little bit. So I can have like a matte surface to work with. I'm not using any sort of uh, oil control or anything. Just using my regular base. Just like the way I would normally do my makeup, and that's it. Um, for me, I have um, combination skin, so I, I am dry at some areas and I'm, I get sweaty like on my nose, under my eyes. This is newborn beauty. Okay, so at the back you have the ingredient listing. I don't know if you can see that. You know, and then at the bottom you now have the shades. Okay, can you see that? Watching this last three shades. That's D15, D16, and D17. This D15, okay? This is D16, and then this is D17. So let me show you. This is D16, D16, D16. This is very lovely thing I like. Another very lovely thing I like about this Nova Beauty Foundation is the way it has this dropper. This is so ingenious. I like it. I like it. I like the fact that you can control the application can you see that so you can control the application just the way you want it's a the consistency is not watery you know it's an in-between so this is d15 okay so we're going to try 
This is D16. So, can you see that? That looks a lot warmer. Okay, so that's 16. So that's 16. Okay, and then let me swatch the last one, which is D17. That's this one. D17. So, so. We'll drop here. Okay, so that's it. Let's take a Guys, is it <clears throat> so? Is the top one, guys? This is 15, this is 16, this is 17. So, what do you think? I think I'm in between 16 17. That's like my actual shade, but because I like to look a little bit lighter, you know, let's glow up a bit. So, I like to mix a bit of 15 in it. But for the review, if I'm going to do the review, if I'm going to wear like everyday wear. I'll probably put a bit of 15 just to brighten me up. But most of this review, my exact color should be between 16 and 17. I think 16 actually works because it's, it's, it looks perfect. So let's just you know do that on the other side of my face. So these are the three shades. This is 15, this is 16, and this is 17. So you can see 15, 16, 17. That's it. So the undertone actually works, you know, like can you see? So if you look at it from the way I applied on my hand right now, probably think this is my best fit, you know, on this 16. So I use that on this side. Okay, just two pumps. Brush, take a little bit and just. So, what do you think? So this is what we have. For the foundation is that it's not a matte matte foundation. It's supposed to give you like a skin finish. Like, you know, you have foundation in your skin. Like a second skin. Like you have foundation on but it doesn't really look like your foundation on. So it's not your matte. You can't compare this with your... Nivelin Superstay, for instance, you know, this Superstay will give you a matte finish, a definite matte finish, but this gives you like a matte finish, but not a semi-luminous skin, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going in again, just to build on the coverage, like the coverage is super buildable, so I'm trying to build on the coverage. I, I like when my skin look like I have nothing on, but that is it for the side. What do you think? So this is 16. Okay, guys, this is 16. So I'm gonna use 17. This is my actual face with tile. This is this is my actual face with tile, the foundation, and this is 16 on this side. Um, what do you think? Okay, so guys, I like the skin finish, I like the skin finish looks flawless. So it matches, it looks like it matched my skin. Okay, so that's so this is D17. So I'm gonna use D17 on this side. So just gonna take a little bit of that and then two pump. Let me start with two pump. Okay, so that's it. So just the same brush, I'm not changing it, so I'm just going to part. I think on application this already looks darker can you see but let me just you know you it feels good to know that i'm not a darker shade <laughs> it feels good to know that i'm not darker shade so but the coverage is beautiful so this is what it looks like so i'm going to i'm not, this is what everything looks like So you can see 
so this is what I would say looks like on the other side that's the darker shade there is um, so I'm using the dark shade here 17 and I'm using 16 here so what do you think am I 16 or am I 17 so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna go out um, do all that I have some errands to run I have some places to go to um, you know just do one or two things to quickly and come so I'm gonna leave it on my face like this I'm not going to use a powder on it I just want to see how it works alone I've tried it with powder without powder but but because of this um, review I want just want to see how it wears alone without powder so this is 16 this is 17 I want to see if it oxidates so let's see how it works really sign it up so it's it's sunny guys so i'm going to be taking it out under this lagos sun so let's see how it holds under this lagos sun like at the end of the day this is after some seven hours where i had on 11 o'clock and this is around to seven in the night um let me show you with my phone this is okay this is 6 10. i see it's like six so this is 6 10 and then um, i didn't want to see um, 11 in the morning when i went out um so this is what it looks like um you saw that i went out on the off legal zone i did some chores i did um i went to do um photo shoots on my product you know, came back I slept, I've woken up, I've eaten. You can see that the lipstick doesn't even exist anymore. So, you know, that's so this is what it looks like around seven hours ago. It's still standing. But, um, like I said, remember, I didn't set with powder, I just used it alone. So, I had 16 here and I had 17 at this side. So, really, I don't know if you can tell. Let me come close to the camera so you can skip. See, let me come close to the camera so you can actually see my skin. You know, so that's what, that's what it looks like now. Just that's what it looks like they're just with me dabbing and trying to so it looks it looks good it looks it still looks good so here is my body let me just say what i think about this foundation so i think this foundation is actually a beautiful foundation if you are looking for that skin finish that um like you don't want people to know you have foundation on but you still want to just have foundation like a second skin this is perfect it doesn't give any cast if you are able to match yourself perfectly, you just sit in. I think I would do a 16 because that 17 looked a bit dark. Um, it wasn't giving me that, you know, that I have foundation on kind of look. It just looked like my skin. And, you know, like I said, when I wear out with it, a lot of people know I have foundation. Like, oh, yes, wait till you take care of this. I'm like, oh, no, I actually have foundation. So it just gave me that skin coverage. Um, I, I think after, like, four, five, six hours of wear. It also depends on where you're going to. Say, maybe if you are indoor, you see that skin finish. It either doesn't have any undertone that is off. Like for me, it starts well. I didn't have issues with it being too red or being too black. It was just perfect. How long this wears for? For me, it didn't give me that. This is me after seven hours, like I said, and then, you know, it's not still giving me that full coverage that like still on my face is moved, shifted, you know, sweated through, you know, and all that. So it's not, I think like, for if you have a very, person like i am i am up and about you know if you are going to have a very active day um you will need to touch upon this like you need to you know constantly check in to make sure that it stays put you, you understand what i'm saying like if you're going to be at the office all day you know just sit where there's fan or air condition it's you don't have any problem but if you're going to be moving around there so from a place to the other from, from one place if you're going to be moving around from one place to the other then you probably need to you know check in like every four hours touch up and make sure that your taste still looks good um the coverage let me talk about the coverage the coverage is not a full coverage it is buildable coverage it means that you can actually start with um uh, just a little and then build what you're comfortable with you know you can pack on you know it allows you to pack on without necessarily stretching or giving you that um um what's it called that heavy cast you can build the coverage that's one of the things i like about it it's perfect for that you can actually but this just gives you a skin finish it's it's perfection like luminous you're not matte dry you're you're glowing it's softer is your is your skin shade but you're not matte matte you know you that you, you act like skin you imitate the skin so you know how your skin will look normally so um then another thing i would love to say is that if you're buying this foundation if you have very oily skin you need to prep 
you need to get an oil control, you need to get um, um, lock in the sweat, you know, because it will seep through. Like when you're sweating, you can actually, you know, it will, the foundation won't really move, but you will see it sweat, you know, like come, it will come through the foundation. So you just, you know, either take this, if you have dry skin, this is perfect for you, like, because the finish, the finish it will give you, come, with a dry skin, it's like, you know, dream, you know, it's just going to sit well. It has that kind of moisture, you know, uh, feel to it. So, um, what else? I hope I'm making sense of what you and the way I'm saying, like, luscious, you know, I, I hope I'm making sense. Um, so, um, I would give this a... Uh, for effort, fantastic. I, I I like it. I would um, I would use. Um, but if, like I said, it's up to you. You know. So if you want that skin, um, um, natural, belly there. You know, you just fall out. You look flawless. You look radiant. This is good. But if you want um, to your super max. You know, everything in place, dry. This will give you that. So you probably might not. Um, so, but. In, Another thing what you have mentioned is um, a little goes a long way. You just need um, a little, you pump out a little at the back of your hand, apply on your skin, and a little goes a long way. It covers well, you know, it's, you're not the one that you pack a lot and they start trying to build. No, you just need that. This is 40 ml. So with 40 ml, that means you're going to have it for a while. You use it a lot of times, you know, before it will finish. Um, but, you know, like I So, guys, um, so, so, guys, um, this is good for um, a skin finish. Like I said, it's my skin, skin finish, luminous, blue, um, radiant, you know, yes, that flushed skin, that's it. But it will not give you a matte finish, it will not, you know, it will not give you that dry, uh, you know, uh, matte protection you want, you know, you know it's, but it's actually matte too as well, yeah, but it's not like super matte, it's just, like a demi matte full coverage kind of thing so it's, it's not it's not a bad one at all I, I just i just love the finish it gives to my skin it's it's fantastic but i will not wear this if i am aiming to go for a dry matte don't touch my face in place kind of finish so i hope i make sense um thank you guys nova beauty thumbs up good job i love it i love it and i would recommend so um, you can go to their website to get it if you don't have it already or i know you can also check that you can also go to their instagram page and check with the where uh, they have a store okay so nuban beauty has a store in surulere i think one of the things you need to do is you either go to their store in surulere and test and check your own skin match or you can go to a retailer i think some of your retailers have this part and the uh, full 16 shades so you can go there test your shade and then you know you're comfortable and you can buy it so that you not buy a wrong thing and you're complaining that oh it's not working for you or it's oxidating and all that you know no. so just walk into the store get tested you know match your skin and you know, enjoy the product thank you guys for watching if you have any questions about this product drop it below or if you have any question generally just let me know um if you haven't subscribed at this point please kindly subscribe and i would love to hear from you turn on the notification bell so you know when i post videos and you can quickly watch it and don't forget to give this video a like and share with your friends you know i talk about makeup lifestyle events and all that just trust me just do me i just do me i do my thing um thank you guys for watching and bye